very cool to the stage. My Hopkins. Oh, this one up that night. I love Mark and Rana. I know Mark bought jugs the other day at the pub, so I know that makes him, in my mind, a good man. <laughs> Where's the this is my first time in a salubrious establishment. <laughs> I need to explain that I'm not your average performance fucking poet. For a start, I don't swear more than it's absolutely fucking lutely mess of fucking scary. I don't have a funny made up stage name like Azure or Magenta or Earthquake or Tsunami. Oh, or an acronym of A or MC or OK. For goodness oh. sake, what is it with these people? Are they really ashamed of their poetry? Don't they want anybody to know who really wrote it? <laughs> or maybe it's just that in real life the names are uncool. In real life they're called Henrietta and Rupert. And they're members of the Young Liberals. And when they're not in poetry slams, they take part in inter-school debating competitions. <laughs> Argue in favour of rhyming poetry, school uniforms, and corporal punishment. <laughs> but maybe I should have a stage name. How about something catchy like. Uh, Mike Hopkins. Like. <laughs> more catchy. More catchy. Oh, yeah, something yeah, more yeah, catchy yeah. like STD. <laughs> or, or what about herpes? <laughs> Wasn't he that Roman bloke with the wings on his heels? Yes. From now on, I demand to be known as Herpes, the Windhill God of Performance Poets. Oh God, are you? <laughs> My poetry collection will not be called Faluki Stan Fellatio, Sappho Succubus, or whoops, you never guess what happened to me. Bath House. <laughs> but it will be subtitled, if you pay good money for this crap, I want to talk to you urgently about a great offer from my Nigerian banker friend. <laughs> My poem will not be a long, detailed description of my genitalia. <laughs> it would take far more than two minutes to do justice to my equipment. <laughs> and words longer than even Mary Poppins could get her first little mouth around. No, I'm not your average performance fucking poet. But I'll give it a go if there's a bit of prize money, an interstate trip, and a chance to hang out with those cool those real cool performance fucking poets. Having offended nearly everybody in the place, it's time for a prayer. This is the Adelaide, the Adelaide Taxi Driver's Prayer. Our cab fare, which starts in cabin. Hallett Cove be thy aim, thy kids would come, thy Williston, in home as it is in Hendon. Give us Lance Bay and Birkenhead, and forgive us our Crapers West, as we forgive those that crave us against us. <laughs> And lead us not into Keswick Station, <laughs> but deliver us from Fruville. For thine is the Finden, the Paranawi, and the Salisbury. Ross Trevor, Ross Trevor, Smiley. <laughs> I know it's a dirty word around here, but I have occasion gone to Friendly Street. <laughs> I was I was on the Friendly Street board. I was on I was on the Friendly Street board for five minutes. It seemed like, it seemed like five years. And I, I sort of had this fantasy one day that um, has anybody heard of John Cooper Clark? Yes. Yes. Good. Uh, yes baby. Which one? I had the original one. <laughs> John Cooper Clark the first. <laughs> and I had this fantasy that John Cooper Clark went to Friendly Street. He wrote this poem. It's called Evidently Friendly Street. You bloody rush to bloody town, you're bloody soaked, it's pissing down, you're bloody walking down the road, practicing your bloody ode, you queue from ten past bloody six and still your bottom of the list. A bloody number on a sheet to read at Bloody Friendly Street. 
You bloody pay a bloody door so a woman laying down her law, a bloody new one every day, and you bloody dare not disobey. She terrifies the bloody crew, you tremble in your bloody shoes, and end up bottom of the sheet to read a bloody friendly street. The bloody MC is bloody late, you bloody weight, you bloody weight, a superhuman bloody feet to read a bloody friendly street. Shadow cardboard, bloody juice, poets fill their bloody boots. The bloody mic won't stay upright. Like brewers droop at wilts all night. <laughs> Cornered by some bloody bore, tripped by drunkards on the floor, you might as well admit defeat, get pissed at bloody friendly street. <laughs> the late arrivals sidling, crying for their bloody skit, scrape the bloody plastic chairs, draw the bloody MC's glare. A bad musician bloody plays. A bloody tune comes away. His words are good, his voice is deep. The best at bloody friendly street. A bloody MC's bloody late, your bloody weight, your bloody weight. A superhuman bloody feet to ring the bloody friendly street. Bloody midnight, get your chance. Two drunks, a bloody dead pop plant to hear your bloody final draft. That took you bloody months to craft. You miss the bloody last bus home. You roam the bloody streets alone. You wail a bloody awful shriek. Evidently, friendly street. There was an epic, epic event last Thursday night in the, the heat of the uh, slams at um, Sterling. There was a slam off between me and Nigel Ford for second place. And I got kicked ass. Oh, we both kicked ass actually, but I marginally slightly better in the, view of, in the view of the judge who I paid twenty five dollars to. I'm Bloody popular. I'm marginally, marginally better kicked ass. Uh, this is part. Adelaide is Don Bradman munching on a pasty. Bread and circuses, interstate envy, festival and fringe, and no Grand Prix. Adelaide is a comfortable family sedan, one day stopping to give you a lift in air-conditioned luxury, the next day leaving you sunstroke stranded in a midday temporary heat wave. Adelaide is blue rinse, eastern suburbs, grannies barging each other out of the way like yeah. rugby prop forwards to get to the best seats at Writers Week. <laughs> Adelaide is tattoo parlour, bikey fortress, Beaumont children, murder excess, secret handshakes, grundle malice. Oh, yeah. Ad Adelaide is the only city I know where everybody says thank you to the driver when they get off the bus. Yay. <laughs> Adelaide is 20 minutes from paradise, 20 minutes from hell, 20 minutes from Mount Lofty, 20 minutes from Grinnell, 20 minutes that just feels like eternity. <laughs> Adelaide is the cleanest place, plastic de-bag, undercased, <laughs> self-contained, return deposited. Adelaide is a one train town, a two footy team town, a three settler town, a four sided square plan, grid pattern, curve right fingered town, a 5,000 postcode town, a 60 souvenir of the one and only visit by the Fab Four. Three. Now there's only two of them left. Adelaide is Don Bradman munching on a pasty. Don Bradman sipping it down with a nice cup of tea. Bread and circuses, interstate envy, festival and fringe. And now we have the whining bloody V8s and those poor old mugs in Melbourne are very welcome to the bloody Grand Prix. <laughs> and to finish off, since we're on the subject of slams and we're also on the subject of John Cooper Clark the first, <laughs> here's a, a slam poem which is called Slam poem. <laughs> Grab the mic and spread your feet, spray some spittle at the geek, make it real and make it straight. It's a slam poem, baby. Yeah. Slam poem, slam poem, jumping off the page poem. It's not another beige poem, it's a slam poem, baby. Screw up your face and shout the line, swear a bit, forget the rhyme, make it gritty, don't waste their time. It's a slam poem, baby. Show the cannon no respect, spit your rage and match your veg. Shake them from their bland content. It's a slam poem, baby. Slam poem, slam poem, jumping off the page poem. It's not another beige poem. It's a slam poem, baby. Bash it, crash it, go extreme, make them think and make them dream. Wake them up and make them scream. It's a slam poem, baby. It's not a field of daffodils. It's not those dark satanic mills. It's never going to pay the bills. It's a slam poem, baby. Wave it, stamp it, push it, vamp it, swear it, grit it, bear it, spit it, split and part it, don't half-heart it. Don't be humble, 
I go full frontal. There's not more for a knowing. There's not work for them to There's not another praise poem. It's a slam poem, baby!